Hello everyone. It's Friday. It's Drama Free Friday. We're going to do our best to make it drama free today. Although Chance is complaining already. Hello Tina. Hi Joan. Aren't you? Yep. Come here. He's here today. Instead of being asleep, he's here wide awake today. Hello, Ann. Hi, Sherry. Good to see you guys. It's Friday. It is Drama Free Friday, we hope. We hope. All right. So, <clears throat> hi, Terry. Good to see you, Terry. I don't think I've seen your name in the chat for a little bit, or I just had a mind fart and missed it. I know, right, Joan? Bless his little pointed head. That's what we say. Bless his little pointed head. Oh, it was a tragedy today. It was a tragedy. It was an absolute all-out tragedy today. Went to my grocery store that's very close to get a coffee. And the espresso machine was broken. <laughs> it's broken, people. Ah. <sighs> I don't know if I can deal with it. <laughs> such problems. Oh, uh, where are my notes? There they are. I know, such problems. I know, Terry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You feel my pain, you guys. You feel my pain. I had to settle for regular coffee. Not nearly as good, by the way. Not nearly as good. However, I will take one for the team <laughs> because if I do this without caffeine at all, it could get ugly. It could get ugly. Barbara Clark, hello, good morning. Hey, Janet. Did you guys get the ice, Janet, that we got? Whew, that was some ice. That was some ice we got. Elvis is in the house. Good to see Elvis. Purple Nana Linda's here. Boy, all the internationals are here this afternoon. What time is it where you are? Is it evening? Seven evening, cold, icy, and crappy. <laughs> I should have called you on Monday, Janet. Man, I was in the deep blue funk on Janet on Monday, but that's when you were streaming, so you entertained me that way instead. Oh, I guessed right. Wow, Joan, that was a that was just a wild guess. Hello, Linda Renz. How's Tim doing today, or right now? Is he still making good progress? I hope so. Definitely hope so. Chance is full of spit and vinegar today. He is, he is, do any of you have cats that headbutt? <laughs> his head is so hard that if he ever decides to headbutt me with his head, like under my chin, it really, he can really, set me back a minute he's very strong crazy crazy cat hey Cheshire cat and dog good to see you yeah the weather here has just been frightful as the song says hey Ruth <clears throat> Ruth I got um, some mail sent off so thank you for that for helping me with that All right, so let's see. I, you know what I thought we would do today? I gave you all those choices last week we talked about because I was in this creative funk. I'm still kind of in the creative funk. However, um, I'm kind of in the mood to do some things with hearts because hearts are, a heart is a real powerful symbol. And whether you choose to see it as a symbol or see it as part of one's anatomy or see it as a hallmark thing is totally up to you. I see it as a very powerful symbol. <laughs> well, Janet, it might be. It, it might be, but, you know, um, you might not have to worry about being in public after that. Just saying. 
stop. Hey, Kel. Okay, so um, some things I wanted to tell you. First of all, I'm not going to show these because I just picked them up I'm trying to keep the cat butt from going around the world. He doesn't care. It's fine with him, but I, I kind of care. Um, I picked up mail from the post office, which, including tax papers, mm, my favorite, my favorite things to pick up. I received some cards from people. The rest of what I received are in a different part of my house. Once I get them all together, I'll try and show them to you. But I wanted to let you guys know, those of you that were wondering why I hadn't, it, hadn't mentioned it, it's because I hadn't picked them up yet. Uh, my post office box is very close to me, and I'm just, I've just been a little bit on the lazy side, going over and and uh, collecting the mail. Anyway, plus I was out of town for a while. Um, so I got a card from Amber, who's one of our mods, Kathy Whitney, and she signed it from Kathy and Alden, who was the Santa that she got the one with the packages you're getting all full of static and your hair's all sticking together and you're looking real bad you're looking real bad to be on on the air so you know if you could just like make me not pat you then you wouldn't do that and also a beautiful card from Joan our lovely Joan who is in the chat and then I picked up a package that I have not, oh, I've opened the cards and just scanned them a little bit, but I really want to look at them really carefully and talk about them when I show them. So I'll try and do that Monday or next Friday. And then I got a package from uh, Jinx, our Rhonda. And uh, so those, all of those are here, plus the other ones that are in a different part of my house. I have not opened the package, but... Rhonda had asked me if I'd received it, so I wanted to make sure that I told you. Okay. Um, ugh, stop slobbering on me. I may have to stop and give him some treats just to get him to leave me alone. <sighs> yes. So I thought we would... Um, we're going to make another big painty paper, and then I thought we'd make some cards out of it. I don't know if we'll get that part done today, but at least we're going to do, we will, I think, get the big piece, the piece of paper done. Anybody want a cat? He's cheap. He's real cheap, but he's also real old. Now he's rubbing his head on my coffee cup. Not nice. Not nice. So I missed if um, Linda Renz answered my question. Nah. How is Tim? I'll scroll back and see if I see it. I don't see anything. Is he still doing okay? I hope. Making progress. Yeah, Elvis says, Janet, try it and let us know. <laughs> let us know what happens. That is a worthwhile experiment if I do say so myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let me get him so I don't have to stop in the middle of what I'm doing. I have a couple of things to tell you, but I'll tell you while we're working on the piece of paper. I'm going to create a background paper, and then we're going to paint with ink and an eyedropper. Oh, Chance, you're about to wear me out, bud. You're about to wear me out. Come on. If the day comes where they stop producing catnip, I am in real trouble. He's still making progress. Good, good, good. <laughs> J 
Tana's going to try headbutting some random people in public. Uh, believe it or not, Janet is one of the moderators here. <laughs> we may have to all take up a collection to go bail her out of the pokey. Hi, Connie. You're lurking. Okay. We won't tell. Okay. So we're going to take, I'm going to show you what we're going to use. A couple things. First of all, I don't know how much of this I'm going to use, but I did want to show you these because I just picked these up. Um, there's a way to get into this package. I went to the book club that I go to on a couple of times a month. It's not all the time. A couple times a month. It's not every week, in other words. But I went to it yesterday. I have some fussy cut things in here. So one of the reasons for not fussy cutting, <laughs> one of the reasons for fussy cutting, which is detail cutting, for those of you that don't know, um, is because you can get some really beautiful images. But one of the reasons not to fussy cut is because they are a pain in the butt to hang on to. Anyway, without messing them up, if you don't, if you can't stick them down right away, they're a mess. Okay, so anyway, when I was at um, out at the club, it meets twice a month. And we're, we work through a creative book. I mean, it's not like I sit down and read a novel or, a, you know, something that's going to influence the world. Because we certainly want to, wouldn't want to do that. The world is in such a fine state right now. Um, along, of course, with the United States is perfection itself. Because we have such a fine, fine, upstanding... Anyway... Hello, CB. Anyway, while I was out there, I bought this. And um, so these are collage papers by Dina Wakely. And I just thought I'd show them to you. There's two of each, I think. Two of each design. They're tissue papers. They're called collage papers. They're tissue papers with various designs on them I'm just looking yeah I think there's there are two they do kind of stick together okay so they're pretty transparent or translucent okay so there are, you know if you need to put a bird on it you have several chances here okay so there's that one there's this one there's Yes. When you don't have nice long fingernails, it's hard to make things move around. This one and this one. Okay? So there's that. And then there's these moths. I, I truly don't have not done my research and I'm not a botanist or a, a entomologist to be able to know the difference between a moth and a butterfly, but I believe these are all moths. Someone who knows can write it in the chat, and I'll read it out for everyone. This one. Now, this one is stunning. Okay, this one, I could use a whole pack of that. I love that. Those are butterflies, right? Honeybees. That one must have its mate under here. Yeah. Honeybees and honeycomb. So that's that one. And then just honeybees. Aren't those good? Those are good. Hi, Annette. Sarcasm is thick. Oh, no. Couldn't be. Couldn't be. And then one of the other things that the owner of the store did was she opened a couple of the packs of collage papers and sold them one sheet uh, at a time. And so I bought some of the single sheets so these are some of from a different package 
Uh, I don't see. I don't know. This one. This one is called Flying Things. This one that I just showed you, Flying Things. And there is the back of the package so you can see. But I showed them to you in detail. Okay. Mothers are night. Moths are night butterflies. Okay. Works for me. And this one, I don't know what the name of this pack is that these came from because these were already broken out. But that's a good one. Look at those feathers. I bought those just because I wanted the examples of the feathers. So now I'm going to try not to use them up. And Silhouettes of Flowers by Connie. And, you know, it seems silly to buy a collage paper like this, but, boy, it sure is easy. <laughs> it sure is easy. And this one, I don't know if I bought one of those or two of those. I meant to buy another one. Um, this, I think, would be great to put on some things, just to have the lines to journal on, you know? Use a couple of, it, couple of lines at a time or something. Anyway, so uh, this packet of two each of ten designs, and th what I paid for it was $8. So it's 20 sheets, seven and a half inches by 10 inches. Okay? I just thought I would show that to you. And then I got a stencil, but I don't know where it is. Um, I thought it would it was stuck in here. If I figure out where the stencil is that I bought, I'll show it to you. It was a really cool stencil, too. But I sure can't seem to figure out what I did with it. Anyway. Anyway, if I find it, I'll show it to you. Okay. So I did want to show you those. And... So what we're going to do is we're going to use tissue papers, not tissue papers, mostly deli papers that are leftovers. They're things that some of them I've painted on purpose, but a lot of it is just leftover stuff or things from jelly plate printing or, you know, just scraped paint, just you know, some these are paste papers. So we're going to use those. Hello, Hermie. Welcome. And um, so we're going to collage these on this sheet of paper. And then we're going to paint with ink and an eyedropper or a dropper. We're not going to stick it in our eyes. Just saying. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to get um, a bunch of these, and maybe I'll get them all. And what I'm going to do is, it's really a lot to get all of them, isn't it? Some of them are just, you know, like that. I mean, or that. And the thing about the translucent or transparent papers is you can use either side of them, which is great. Okay, so we'll just pull a whole stack of those out. What is this, anyway? It's just more of those, more of those. Okay. All right, enough, Barb. Enough! Stop yourself. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, pull them, you know, take off random pieces and collage them down. I have enough painty papers of this sort to do many sheets of paper. We won't be doing many sheets of paper. We're going to do one sheet of paper today. Okay. And if they're too dark, I will be putting them somewhere else. Like this one is too opaque. Okay, it's this was a cleanup print from the jelly plate, but if I can't see through it when I turn it over, it's too dark, too opaque. And so there are going to be some of these that will not make the cut. Because if they're like that, it's just it's beautiful, but I think I think it won't make the cut, but just in case, just in case we'll keep it Okay, and some of these, like this is alcohol ink. 
And so some of these, like this one is appropriate, but this one is kind of dark. So yeah, I'm probably going to stick to more of the, the really translucent pieces. Okay. And like this, we'll just, just before we get going, I'll just kind of tear this out. It doesn't matter if it has a little bit of paper that is doesn't have any stuff on it, but you know, by and large, I want it to have some color on it. This one, I love this paper. I don't know where this came from, but somebody gave me a bunch of these these pieces of deli paper that have the stripes in them, and I don't know. I don't know about you, but that speaks to me. Here's a piece of it that's got some stuff on it got a fish stamped on it because who doesn't need to have a fish stamped on deli paper you know what I mean okay so as we go through some of them just won't make the cut like this one probably we might take take a little bit of it but you know we have enough that we can see through that we don't need to use the dark green okay kind of thinking on the order of making heart cards or valentine cards or whatever you would want to term them all right all right that's right this group is shaping up says ruth random head butts and sticking stuff in her eyes not to be seen in public exactly Ooh, that coffee has got a bitter edge to it today. Boy, am I spoiled. I am so spoiled, I can't even tell you. All right. So, I'm just going to kind of put these over here to the side. I'm going to get out my uh, matte medium. That's what I'm going to use today. Before I start, I am going to put some gloves in a bottle on. Because the gloves in a bottle really helps the matte medium come off more easily. And no matter how carefully you try to work, it doesn't matter. You're going to end up with matte medium or some kind of goopy adhesive all over you. You know, one of the things I love about my engagement ring? It's flat. <laughs> it's flat. Aside from the fact that I have it, um, it's flat and it doesn't collect a bunch of goop. And it's going to be easy to clean. And I like that. I do. I appreciate that. He put some thought into that ring, I'll tell you what. Oh, these were the papers we did the other night. Monday night we did these papers. And they've dried and they've, you know, kind of warped out of shape. But, you know, one of the ways that you can deal with warped papers like this because all the moisture has been on the top and so if you just turn it over and give it a good spritz on the back side with water and then let it get to where it's damp but not wet and put it under some um, heavy books it'll straighten out this one's not as bad but this one didn't have quite as much applied to the the one side anyway they dried out and look they look pretty good they still need some work done on them but Oh, and my word for the day is, do you guys remember that? The word for the day is, they used to have that on TV all the time here. I don't know if they, I suppose they did it everywhere. But the word, the word for the day is, well, my word for this day, <laughs> for this week is this. I'll explain to you why. My word for this week is grateful. And in case... You know, in case you haven't heard a, a commercial today. Now I don't know where my box of cards went. You too can have your very own words right here in your Mandal of Madness deck of cards. Yes, you can. I still haven't raised the postage rates, which I should because they've gone up again. They've gone up at least twice, if not three times, since we set the postage rates the last time. <laughs> If you want them, get in your order quickly. This applies to U.S. orders only. International orders, I'm going to have to charge what they charge because they have skyrocketed those rates. If you want them now, I will, I will absorb whatever the rest of the postage is. So if you want them, 
get them because as soon as I get race tied down, we're putting up the postage rates where they should be because they are killers. Killers. Yeah. You meant, yeah, you did. I do. Ruth says, I need a coffee husband. You're right. I do have one. He does bring me coffee frequently. I can't complain. I can't complain. Hello, Mary Kay. I guess it's Mary Kay. MK. Um, welcome. By the way, if any of you don't know who I am, if you just stumbled onto this by some luck of the draw, luck of the mouse, I'm Barb Owen of HowToGetCreative.com. I'm really glad you're here. Thank you for stopping by. And I hope that you have some fun while you're here. Usually what we do is, sometimes we do art. <laughs> Most of the time I try to do art of some kind. Something creative. It could be sewing. It could be paper. It could be art journaling. It could be making papers. It could be just sitting. And sometimes it amounts to sitting here and talking. I've done that too. Um, the stream where I told my story of... Let's just call it my love story. <laughs> it started with Claus Man and is up to date. I retitled that. my I think I retitled it my story and a little bit of art or something. Anyway, it's retitled. And so it doesn't just have a date. It actually has a title on it. Mary Kay is right. Good. And she's on an artful journey. And I like that. Uh, yes. Do you guys remember the thing on TV that was, and the word today is, and it was always in this lovely, quiet, you know, and you always felt like you needed to stop and be whatever the word was. Yeah. Anyway. I always thought those were interesting. All right packed up a bunch of stuff that I took out to book club yesterday, which I didn't use 99% of it. You know how that goes. I'd rather go out there and just sit and talk, which is what I'm very good at, by the way. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use matte medium, and um, I should put some of this in a, in a container instead of trying to work out of the monster jar. Let me get a container. I'll be right back. I need to clean my studio from top to bottom, inside and out, every drawer, every closet, every everything so badly. Next week, somebody needs to ask me if I did it, okay? And tell me not to lie. <laughs> tell me not to lie. Anyway, if you're here, if you're new and you haven't subscribed to the channel, that would be great. I'd love it if you did. Um, so if you'd like to subscribe, that would be super. If you'd like to hit the thumbs up button, that'd be great too. And um, the auction to help Janet Baum is coming up February. I think it was February 4th. Somebody can put in there. Ah, Ann, <laughs> Ann Lahr said, we had a book club at school, and we would meet for dinner, and we never read the book. <laughs> but she called it. But she called it book club, didn't you? Hey, Judy Skeelhaven. Yep, I know. I recognize your last name immediately. Judy and I go back a long time. That's Skeelhaven 1. Judy Skeel. That's her name. Her name is Judy. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to go do this thing. If you have any questions, put them in chat. Otherwise, I want to tell you why I am grateful this week. Yes, I am. Okay, so we're just going to go down here. And things are going to look a little weird because I have a Tim Holtz mat that is Gorilla Tape. <laughs> if you want to, if you too want to get the Tim Holtz mat to stick on something like a board like this, 
Gorilla Tape has kept it on there for years. Um, it's the only thing I ever found that actually stuck to the non-stick surface. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So matte medium, I am happy happen to be using the um, Liquitex brand. There's lots of different brands, student brand, student types, etc. So you can do whatever you want. So all we're going to do is try to get this paper covered in translucent, painty, leftover papers. And if I have sharp edges, I have sharp edges. We're not going to worry about it. So once upon a time on Monday of this week, we got a very um, substantial ice storm. Let's see, do I want to use that? No, I want to use the brighter side. Um, yes, we had a substantial ice storm. And they canceled school here before the storm even hit. They canceled with a threat of storm, which it's a good thing that they did, but I would say about half the time that doesn't serve them so well because <laughs> a lot of the time, <clears throat> a lot of the time they will do that, cancel, you know, make a, a decision to cancel school and then nothing happens. But this time they called it right and they canceled school and everything was ice covered. And I told people a lot about that on Monday about the studly duck who is my fiance um, out calling me and telling me that how terrible it was outside right we had that whole discussion how i'm listening to him as he's talking over his phone speaker about how terrible it is outside i'm like what are you anyway it's the y chromosome people i'm telling you it's the y chromosome it takes the brain right out of the equation. Uh, so if you want to know more about that story, you'll have to go back to Monday because we talked a little bit more about that. Kathy Patterson, hey! Good to see you. I'm glad you were able to join us. So we're going to just take bits and pieces of this paper and I'm just gonna I'm just putting down some matte medium get it up here where you can see it paper's a little bit big I'm I can zoom out further but then you don't get to see as much of the details so that's why I'm zoomed in a little bit I'll try to keep make sure that I keep on the screen Anyway, so Monday, um, I'm, I'm good. You know, it's good. I stay home, except I about lost my... I'm not used to being in a position where I cannot leave home. And Monday was that day. Oh, Monday was that day. Those days are not easy for me. Um, if I choose to stay home, it's one thing. But if I have to stay home... Ugh. I know some people, I think it was Rhonda said on Monday night, she said she could stay home 24 seven. And I'm like, oh man, <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't, you know, being by myself and having to be at home 24 seven is very hard for me. Even when I was taking care of Clausman that last year, I would still, you know, we rigged up a, a system so that I could still get away, you know. So I had cameras all throughout the house, and I would go, I would get up really early before he would be awake, and I would take off and go just to get away for 30 if I just had 30 minutes before I got him going it oh man did it help it helped so much and um, 
I would watch him on my iPad or phone or whatever. And, I mean, it just, it kept me from, it honestly kept me from losing what little bit of my mind I had left. Yeah. So, being where I could not leave, because I literally couldn't even go out my front door. I stood at the edge of the garage and threw ice melt down the driveway, hoping that it would do something, you know, to melt the ice. I'm just, I, I just need to be able to leave and come back. <laughs> leave and come back. Leave and come back, you know. Home is my safe haven, which I really need. Uh, but being out and about and seeing other people. I don't even have to talk to them, but I do need to hear them talking. Yes, I do. You know, I just um, need that. Anyway, so that was Monday, right? Uh, so I'm telling you, having the stream to look forward to, that helped a lot because I'm like, I'm going to have people to talk to. Um, I'm going to have people to talk to here later today. And that helped. But, oh, man. Um, and I never thought I would be like that. You know, I truly never thought I would be that way. Um, but I am that way. And I learned that about myself. And I know that I'm a much better human if I can get out of the house for a little bit. You know? And you got to know yourself. Uh, some people don't need that. They're much better. Like my one of my very dearest friends... She would go sometimes, and her husband died six months before mine, and, you know, she would go for, you know, a week or two and never leave home, and I'm like, I don't know how you do that. <laughs> I don't know how you're doing that. I need lessons. I need lessons in how you do that. Uh, uh, yeah. Woo. Anyway. Uh Well, and I think that that's part of it. I was just reading what Purple Nana and Joan were talking about. That they neither one of them can leave. But don't you find, maybe I'm putting words in your mouth, but don't you find that having access to the Internet and access to interaction that way fills, um, fills some of that for you? I know it's not the same thing. Um... I know it's not the same thing as, you know, personal contact with people, but, you know, anyway. Anyway, so, all that to say, all right, let's see if we can keep doing this. One of the challenges with doing stuff like this is trying to talk and do this. <laughs> trying to talk and do this. You know, um, yeah, it's just not the same as being out and or having somebody that maybe you're in the same space with but you're choosing not to talk to them that's one thing anyway enough of that enough of my <laughs> enough of my crazy um so uh, monday the temperatures finally came up and some of it started to melt off and monday evening i finally took it as long as i could and i couldn't stand it any longer so i did get out and i went and got a cup of, i was going to go get a cup of coffee but of course no no one in their right mind was going to go to work at a coffee shop um and i thought well the restaurant will have coffee nope nope they didn't they didn't have coffee either and so i came home had to make my, oh the horror of it all I had to make myself a cup of coffee and then I streamed, and it was all good. But it was slick. It was slick, you know. Um, but it wasn't dangerously slick. It was just, you know, kind of slick. Well, so that was Monday. Tuesday rolls around, and I have an appointment at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I checked the temperatures, and the temperatures were good. You know, they were way above freezing, and... And things had really started thawing, and I thought, well, this is great. You know, I'll be able to keep my appointment, right? And it was an appointment to get my hair cut, okay? So, I don't know about you guys. Maybe a lot of you that don't go and get your hair cut um, 
this is not a big deal to you, but it's a big deal to me. Again, it's one of those get out of the house, take care of yourself moments. You know, and we all have those things that we have to learn. What is it that you have to do to take care of yourself? And once you figure out what that is, you got to do that thing. Because there's a thing called mental health. All right. So I'm like, good. So I'm so happy because she hasn't called to cancel my appointment. I'm definitely thrilled about that. You know, because she lives out in the country. So if she's going to call and cancel my appointment, you know, if she can't get out and she has to cancel the appointment, I understand that. I get that. I, I totally get that. But, oh, I was so grateful she didn't call. So I'm good. So I'm going, right? I'm going. All right. So I'm going to just talk to you because you see what I'm doing here. You you got what I'm doing. So I'm going to just talk to you face to face while I work on this. While I look for some appropriate bits and pieces. Okay, so I take off. <clears throat> This is the paper I'm going to tear up and use bits of. Hey, Veil. The same to you. Janet, that could be the problem. Janet, we should probably talk. We should probably talk. Yeah. Yeah, we should probably talk. <laughs> okay. So, I get to my destination. Everything's fine. The roads are fine. There is no problem. I get to the place where I have to park. It's downtown in my the small city that I live in. And it's metered parking. Okay. Don't get me started on that. But anyway. And most of it's two hours. And my appointment takes longer than that. So there's a small strip of parking meters where you can park for 10 hours okay so it's perfect you know it's perfect except the students here at the university also know where those meters are and so they know um, that they can they don't mind walking if they're driving in from someplace they'll come you know suck up those meters and and so sometimes no matter what you have to and then you're not supposed to you're not supposed to plug the meter for more than two hours you're not supposed to go out and keep feeding the meter you're supposed to in theory move your car so if i can park snag one of those meters it's perfect right it's great well, i just glued down a folded section of this paper so we're going to just rip it off because I really don't want any folded pieces little sections of this paper oh stop being picky girl stop being picky so anyway okay so you kind of got the picture so I get down there and I'm like oh this is good this is so good you know the streets are good I had um, it was a morning where the studly duck had come by and brought me a coffee that was really nice and I hadn't consumed all of it so I was taking it with me to my appointment okay all right we'll go back down here so you can see what I'm doing okay so you kind of got the idea it takes a while to fill these a piece of paper and this is not even a huge piece of paper but we're gonna it's just gonna take a little bit to fill it up this is I have no idea what kind of spray this is might be permanent might not um, it may just it may just bleed all over the place it's probably dilutions spray we're about to find out let's go over here because if it bleeds real badly um, it would be best if we not use it we're going to find out. Okay, here we go. Yep. That's what I thought it was. Once you get it coated with matte medium and it dries, it's all good. I actually like it when it does when it kind of does that. So we're going to we're going to put it down some other places. Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. 
but once it gets covered with um, what I do with those is I use the I use the dilutions when I'm doing as my first layer when I'm doing paste papers because I like them to bleed or run or whatever you want to call it but sometimes you don't want them to do that but this in this case it's going to work out okay I'm going to save that one that's a lot of ink on that one so anyway I get out of my car um, the roads have been fine I'm just tooling along I've got my coffee I plug the meter and I see this great big section of slush on the sidewalk and I'm like okay well I'm not going to try to walk through that because, of course, I didn't put any boots on that day. No, that would have been thinking ahead, and I didn't want to, what we don't want to do. You know, people, don't accuse me of thinking now. Let's just not accuse me of that. <laughs> thinking ahead. Nope. Mm -mm. We don't want to do that. All right. So, plug the meter. I got plenty of time to for my appointment. And I, and I walk on in the, the logical thing to do is walk in the street. So I do. I walk in the street. It's all good. Okay. Um, so I walk down the street. It's about, I got about a block and a half to go to get from the, where I have to park to get to the salon. So I'm walking along. Everything's good. I have my purse over one arm. I have my coffee in my other hand. It's all good, and I am happy camper. I'm going to go get my hair done, okay? So I round the corner after I've come out of the street, and here's the sidewalk, and I'm like, well, I'm going to just, you know, walk on the sidewalk now. It's good. So I step up on that sidewalk, which happened to be a ramp, you know, the that was a wheelchair access ramp. I take one step. Okay, one step up onto that sidewalk <laughs> the next thing I know I'm face down on the, on the sidewalk face down I don't even know how fast that happened <laughs> no idea how fast that happened that was the fastest I was ever up and then I was down in my entire existence I do think yeah that was crazy I know, right? Woo! I was up, and then I was down. All right. Let's take some of these. And so, you got to kind of get the picture. Okay? I am... I am um, not quite face down, but almost. And, and I'm, I mean... <laughs> You know, it's like I didn't hit my head, so this is a good thing because we all know what can happen if you hit your head. To which my son said later, when I confessed to him what had happened, he said, "Oh, please be careful." Well, it's like it was a little too late for that. You know, I was not trying to be reckless to start with, and he said, "You know, hitting your head can really cause problems." It's like really, <laughs> well. You know, nobody sets out to go out and whack their head on something. <sighs> hello, Vintage. Hello, Sheila. No, I'm not, Elvis. Thank you. Okay, so. It happened so fast. Of course, I couldn't see the ice that was on the sidewalk that the city was responsible for. <laughs> you know, you make this mistake of thinking. But, you know, I thought it was just, I thought the sidewalk was just wet because there wasn't anything on it. Well, duh. There was nothing on it. Because there was nothing on it. It was just one sheet of ice. So, I am... Kind of on my belly, kind of on my right side a little bit, which is the same side that I hurt a few weeks ago. I'm hoping this is the end of the the hurting myself ordeals. <clears throat> yeah, you never know. Anyway, 
So I, um, I'm kind of laying there and taking stock. Now, I understand that the first thing I do, <laughs> the first thing I do, you guys, what do you think the first thing is I do? I'll just ask you, those of you who know me, have been watching me long enough, what do you think the first thing is that I do as I'm laying there? Prostrate on the sidewalk. What do you think I do? Hi, Denise. No hitting head. That is correct. Hi, Dorothy. <laughs> close, Janet. Very close. <laughs> Janet says, lick the coffee off the sidewalk. No, but I did immediately go, what happened to my coffee? <laughs> you knew it. Janet knows me. Janet knows me. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I take stock of my surroundings and I realize that I have never let go of my purse. The only reason I let go of the coffee, cl coffee cup, which had a lid on it like this, okay, had a lid on it like this, the only reason I, that I let go of that is because the impact threw it out of my hand. So it's laying not too far from me, but far enough that I've got to retrieve it. <laughs> Hi, Riri. <laughs> Riri feels my pain. <clears throat> okay, so I know that this just looks like a fine, hot mess, but, you know, we'll we'll make it come together. <laughs> I don't want to put it up there. We'll make it come together here at some point. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. We'll make it come together, okay? So, um, now all this takes place over the, the a matter of seconds. So I'm up, and then I'm down, and then I'm worried about my coffee and then I realized that I still have hold of my purse which is a big purse which was open but nothing <laughs> I mean I expected to see the contents of my purse going whoosh sailing down the ice you know but it didn't very grateful it didn't <clears throat> I know right Terry oh it gets even better so I um I'm like, well, I got to get up, you know, because I'm going to be late to my appointment. <laughs> you know, it's priorities, folks. We got to keep track of our priorities, you know, and my appointment's at, at 10 o'clock and it's probably five minutes to 10 now. So I got to get, I got to get up and get after this situation. And so I get up. No, I try to get up. <laughs> <laughs> that's more accurate okay might as well tell you the whole story so I try to get up but remember the sidewalk was really slick right and so it hasn't thought out while I'm laying there in the few seconds that I laid there taking stock of the situation and worrying about where my coffee cup had landed and 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 I won't tell you what I said first of all because it wasn't nice at all um, the first word that pops into my mouth should should be, I'm so grateful I'm okay, and that is not what popped into my head. Uh, but Janet can probably imagine what word did pop into my head. <laughs> and, then, and then I'm thinking, well, it, what is it Stan Laurel used to say, or Laurel and Hardy, one of those guys, you, one of them would say to the other, well, this is a fine mess you've gotten us into. That's kind of how I was thinking at the moment. Well, this is a fine mess. All right, let's take this one. I don't, again, I don't know if this is ink. Oh, look, a little piece of tape. Well, that needs to come off of there and go in a journal. That's what, what that needs to do. I wonder if somebody sent me that. Maybe somebody sent me this piece of paper. All right, we'll save that. That needs to go in my journal. Yeah, this must be somebody's painty paper they shared with me. Anybody recognize it? It's gonna live on this. It's gonna live on this piece, big piece of paper that we're making. All right, so I realize that my purse has not spilled its guts, which I'm real happy about. And so, 
I, I don't quite know what the next couple of seconds involved, but I do know it involved trying to get up and falling back down yet again, but not very far because I couldn't get up very far, you know. So I went down a second time. I'm not really sure what happened on that one. But I'm like, whoo, this is real slick. <laughs> you know, now it dawns on me that this is a real pickle. And then I hear somebody behind me um, who was a kind soul, female, says, are you okay? And I'm like, and then, then embarrassment sets in. You know how that is. And you go, oh, no, I'm fine, 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 fine. You know, because it's like, well, we don't need we don't need two of us splaying out on this this sidewalk right here. And so I finally figure out that there is a fence there, a chain link fence. And I think if I can just get a hold of the chain link fence, maybe I can get myself up, you know, something to hang on to. So I've fallen, you know, the first one was a bona fide fall. The second one was just a you know, ugly fall. It was, you know, picture a newborn calf or a newborn giraffe um, trying to get up for the first time. That you pretty much got the, you pretty much got the picture. <laughs> Riri didn't have any excuses. She just fell in the middle of the street. Well, there you go. I'm, I'm glad you're okay. So I managed to retrieve the coffee cup. The lid never came off of it, never spilled anything. Oh, I was so glad for that. Because you know, priorities. We gotta have we gotta keep our priorities in order. Finally get up. And so I'm holding onto the chain link fence, looking like a newborn cow <laughs> or giraffe. And then I'm like, I gotta get off this sidewalk. I gotta get off this sidewalk. I have my purse, I have my coffee cup, but I still have my dreadfully slick situation and I just need to get off the sidewalk. Because the street wasn't slick. So it's like if I can just get myself back to the street, which is right there, but I mean, it's probably a, you know, this was a half a step onto the sidewalk that got me and I probably got two steps to get back to the street now. Oh goodness sakes, goodness sakes, goodness sakes. And so I finally, you know, with a great deal of anxiety and very little grace, <laughs> get myself back to the, the street. Once I was on the street, everything was fine. I'm like, whoa. You know, and then it's one of those things where you're trying to take stock and you're trying to go, what just happened? And am I truly okay or have I hurt anything? Nothing hurt, but, you know, of course you've got adrenaline pumping. You know, I had adrenaline pumping by that point, And I'm like, wow, I wonder if I'm hurt. And then I start realizing that my knee on my right leg. Now, understand, I landed more on my right side than I did on on my front at all. But when I absolutely came to a resting stop, <laughs> I, uh, I'm sort of half on my belly and half on the, yeah, half on on my side. Wow. I wonder if I've hurt anything. Nothing seems to hurt. So I'm like, I'm starting to feel really grateful instead of irritated. And and my coffee still had my cup still has coffee in it. I'm real happy about that. And then my knee starts kind of bothering me and I'm like, How, well why would my knee hurt cuz I that was not what I landed on. But anyway, it's kind of, you know, it's stinging. You know that sting you get from road rash? Any of you ever had that? Do you remember that from the your days in the on the playground when you were a kid? Did you ever have those those moments where you got road rash from the the gravel or the you'd fall on the concrete sidewalk and you'd get a nice you know a nice 
strawberry on your knee. It was that kind of feeling. It was just one of those where it's like, man, this is really... <laughs> this, this is not feeling so good. You know, I don't know what's the matter with me. So I'm thinking, well, I'll see if I can walk. When I Walking didn't bother me. My hips didn't bother me. My shoulder, nothing bothered me. And I'm like, well, I must be okay. So, um, so I walk on to the in the street, walk on to the hairstylist. It was about, I don't know, three quarters of a block. And I get over there and the stylist met me as I was coming in. Now, now I realize my pants are cold. I'm like, why are my pants cold? Only on one side, only on the right side, which is the side I crashed on. I'm like, why are my pants cold? Well, then I take, then I reach down with my hand and and touch my pants, and my pants are wet from, from my butt on my right leg. Okay, so picture where your pocket is on your right, you know, like on the back of your pants. From, the entire pocket is wet on the right side, so that's on my butt, my bum, all the way down my leg on the outside of my leg. Okay, so I my pants are wet all the way down. I'm like, okay, but my right knee on the front, inner front part of my knee is, is what is hurting. And I'm like, I, I can't for the life of me. I still don't know how the knee got, took the brunt of some of this, but my rear end and all down the outside of my right leg were soaking wet. <laughs> it's just bizarre. Bizarre, I tell you. Anyway, so I get in the salon, stylist meets me, and I said, man, it is slick out there. And she said, oh, you didn't fall, did you? And I said, I did, actually. And she, and now, now they're mortified because, you know, they don't want liability. And she said, where did you fall? And I told her where. And I showed her. She said, did you go all the way down? It's like, well, yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard when you, if you're going to slip and fall on ice, it's hard to only go part way down. <laughs> I said, yeah, I went all the way. And I turned around, showed her my pants, and she goes, oh, well, I'll put those in the dryer. And I'm thinking, yeah, I don't think so. I think I'll just... I said, you know what? They're not that wet, which they were. I said, they're not that wet. They'll dry out. <laughs> oh, the vanity kicks in, you know? The vanity kicks in. I don't even think of myself as a vain, particularly vain person. You know, when you get to a certain age, your, your vanity genes are, no pun intended, but your vanity genes are, you know, kind of gone. I just couldn't quite imagine sitting in the salon with nothing but a smock on and yeah, I was like, yeah, I don't think that's I don't think that's such a good idea. I don't think that's such a good look. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, okay, so I took this piece of paper and I turned it around. Doesn't this look like a delightful, colorful, unbelievable mess? I know. I Got to tell you, I like it. I'm just looking for more pieces of paper that have bits and bits of color. And here we go. This one's a good one. So anyway, so I sat. I went in the. I did have to go put on a smock because that was that's part of the part of the deal. So I go in to put on a smock, and oh, I went I went into the bathroom first because I thought, well, maybe I should, you know, check and see. My jeans didn't have a hole in them or anything. I thought, well, maybe I should see if there's any damage done, you know. So I pulled down my jeans. Boy, did I have the best strawberry on my knee! It wasn't the skin was not really very much broken or anything. It was more like a it was more like a bruise. You know, than anything. And I'm thinking, whew, well, that must be where that stinging problem's coming from. You know? And, so <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm still, 
you know how it is how you're kind of shocky after something like that happens you're just like you know I, I don't I'm not really sure what just happened you know I'm still kind of in that in that frame of mind and uh, so anyway I, I thought well you know it doesn't seem like the skin doesn't seem like it's really broken so it didn't really seem like there's anything I need to do it's just stinging for whatever reason all right, so I'm going to let this just like sit here and just, you know, cogitate for a moment while I look at the chat. Um, hello, ARH. <laughs> she said I would have said just blow me dry. I should have done that. Hello, Sharon. <laughs> I didn't sit there in my underoos. I did not. I thought about it, but I didn't. I was too proud. Hey, Devin. Um. <laughs> I was just um, just reading the chat. Mary Kay says, you should wear a GoPro in your adventures. I should have. It would have made some great content. Man, if somebody... I'm surprised somebody didn't pull out their camera and record it and put it on TikTok or something. Can't you see it? Old woman falls and tries to get up. Watch this. <laughs> For a good laugh. Watch this. Oh, mercy. Okay, so... I'm just looking for another paper. Oh, this is a pretty one. Okay. <clears throat> just need to get some more mint medium here. And of course, I splurted it. Uh, so, I have a strawberry on, on my knee. That seems to be the only thing. It's kind of stingy. The rest of me kind of go. The rest of my body is kind of in this space of, are we hurt? Because we don't know if we're hurt. So then I think, I probably should tell my son because he's going to get all upset if he finds out from, you know, somebody else that, who knows that who that would be, but somebody's going to rat you out. You get to a certain point in your life and somebody is going to rat you out. It happens every time. They will rat you out and tell your kids or tell someone that you did something really awkward, stupid, you know, whatever. They will tell on you every cotton pick in time. So it's like time. Just take my advice, people. If you do something stupid, just tell on yourself. It goes down better. Okay? It goes down better. It really does. <laughs> I think these are some of Ruth's papers she sent me one time. I think they are. Ruth sent me some of her her um, paste papers that she did on um, deli paper one time. I don't want to use those on this. This is for scraps. This is scrappage. All right, we'll put a little bit more of this on here. I'm just making a few scraps. So I send race a text, and I said. It is really slick here. The, the streets aren't slick, but the sidewalks are especially slick, and one of them got me on the way to the hair salon. And I'm telling you, yeah, sometimes I can, I'll send him a text, and I may go for several, you know, hours and not hear from him. I am telling you <laughs> the definition of when my text hit him and the one came back to me was about a split second. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, Dorothy gets it. <laughs> me too, Devin. Me too. She said she's glad I didn't break anything. Boy, me too. I'm going to tell you what. That's not good. You know, who wants to break anything? Oh, goodness. No. So, um, so he said... <laughs> okay, now remember. Please remember. The experience that we went through for a year with his dad which was in that 
that, I mean, he'd had some issues going on, but before that fall, but it was, the whole thing was accelerated because of the fall and hitting his head. Okay, so you guys all remember that. The text I get back from my son goes like this. Oh, Mom, please, in all capital letters, be careful. Okay, let me make this really clear. I wasn't not being careful. <laughs> Sometimes crap happens, shall we say. I would like to... You know, I'll say that in the nicest way possible. But sometimes crap happens, and it happens real fast, and that's what happened. It wasn't that I wasn't being careful. Yeah? Okay. Anyway, and he says, you can really get hurt if you hit, fall and hit your head. <laughs> sometimes don't you just have to love your kids? Don't you just have to love your kids? And I said, you're right, or something to that effect. I'm like, really? <laughs> you're going to tell, tell me? Oh, anyway, bless his heart. Bless his little pointed head. I don't remember who used to say that, but somebody used to say that. And it's just such a good expression for so many situations. Bless his little pointed head. I said, yes, you're right. <laughs> Before that day was over, I heard from him, my granddaughter. Um, of course, I confessed my sins to the Studley Duck. And, <laughs> and then he tries, and then he tried calling me, but I was getting my hair done, okay? My hair is being done. I am being pampered, and I don't want to talk to anybody, you know? Because I'm already licking my war wounds from having splayed out on the city sidewalks. <laughs> I don't want to talk to anybody. But in my defense, uh, the stylist was cutting my hair. And I really couldn't say, just a minute, I have to take a phone call. You know, and so then, then he calls and then he uh, sends several texts. And the final one was, are you alive? <laughs> To which I wanted to say, nope, I died. It's like, come on, you know. Anyway, it was very kind to be thought of, and it was very kind for people to care about me. But I heard from him. I heard from Race in the afternoon. I heard from my granddaughter in the afternoon, later in the afternoon. And then Race and Izzy called later that night. So I was well looked after. I was well, you know, my daughter-in-law Izzy is a nurse. And so she, is, by that evening, is worried about, do I have pain? Do I have this? Do I have that? Am I feeling this? Maybe I should do that. <laughs> like, next time, I'm not telling you people. Next time something happens, I am not telling you. I'm just going to deal with it on my own. No, I wouldn't do that. But anyway, it was. it's nice to be cared for. It's very nice to be cared for. Believe me, it's very nice to be cared for. But where were you people when you needed to scrape me up off the sidewalk? <laughs> Where were you when you needed this, when I needed help getting up off the sidewalk? You're all worried about me now, but where were you when I was splayed out like a giraffe? Like a newborn giraffe on the sidewalk. Come on. <laughs> what did Ruth say? I bet you get three helmets for your birthday. No joke. <laughs> I didn't hit my head, Ruth. I did not hit my head. I don't need helmets. I didn't hit my head. Yeah. <laughs> They're all worried about me, and yet none of them were there to help get me up off the sidewalk. When the sidewalk reached reached up and tripped me. Oh, goodness. So anyway, you guys now understand why my word for the week is gratitude. Out of that whole experience, the only thing I got was... Oh, by the time I got home from the salon, my jeans were stuck to my, my war wound, which was the strawberry on my knee, because it had... You know how stuff like that decides it's going to ooze. And then it dries and it sticks. That's nice. So I had to wear a band-aid for a couple days. Yeah. Saw the chiropractor on Wednesday. Told her what happened. She goes, so she goes, oh. So she immediately starts going over 
you know, checking everything. She goes, wow. She says, you're in really good shape. She goes, yeah, this, and she goes, yeah, that's a little out, yeah, this is a little out, yeah, that's, yeah, 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 you know, she's talking to herself, and finally she goes, you're in really good shape, and you know that the next word out of somebody's mouth when they say that, because I've heard it before, is, for a woman of your age, <laughs> to which she does want to go, slap, and anyway, so, yeah, there you go. That's why I'm so grateful. Okay. All right. So let's go back down here and keep looking at this. Do you see how when you just keep building it and building it and building it, um, you get some really cool looking colors and you can't, you can't make, um, you cannot construct a paper like this. It only comes it's just serendipitous in fact some people call these serendipity papers i think or maybe that's something else that they're referring to but in essence in essence it is a serendipity paper right <sighs> your head's hard enough that your brain is safe says ruth that is so good that is so good, Ruth. Okay, I'm looking for some more. I'm just looking for some more papers over. I'm just digging for some more papers. Oh, we need some sunshine. Let's put some sunshine in this piece. If you guys um, don't follow Devin Rex, um, she's a streamer, does live streams, and puts up lots of videos. She did one the other day. I started watching. I was watching live. And I think I was watching live. It was a live. I don't know if I was watching live or watching the recording. But anyway, she was doing... I didn't realize she had a line of stencils with PM... Is it PM Art Studio? Is that what it is? Oh, my battery's about to crash on my laptop. Whew, good thing I saw that. Whew, just in the nick of time, I plugged you guys in. Otherwise, I'd have lost you. That would not have been good. Not at all. Anyway, she was doing some great... Um, she was doing the jelly plate... Is it jelly plate challenge? Hey, lady. <laughs> I just saw what Jan wrote. <laughs> All right, those of you that are not here live and watching the recording later, first of all, thank you for watching. <laughs> Jan, Lady True North, just gave me a super chat for five bucks. It says, for the illicit, illicit liquid and icy ramp lawsuit fund. <laughs> oh, Jan. Oh, Jan, I love you. I love all you guys. I'm so glad to be here with you. Yes. Yes, I am. We have been through some stuff together, you guys. You and I have been through some stuff. Anyway, um, Devin was doing, what was it? Is gel plate January is what? Is that what it is? There's Devin's channel. Thanks, Janet. Um, Mr. Bear's idea. Well, somehow that doesn't totally surprise me. Um, somehow that just doesn't surprise me that that would be Mr. Bear's idea. <clears throat> and my regards, give tell Mr. Bear that I'm sending my regards to Sydney and hoping that Sydney is feeling well. And thank you very much for his <laughs> his kindness. Oh, that was funny. That was funny. That made me laugh. Sometimes it takes a bit to make me laugh, but that one made me laugh. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, so anyway, yeah, so the next day I was a bit, um, you know, I was a little achy on Wednesday, you know, because, you know, it takes a little bit before... Sometimes before all the 
the achiness, achiness comes to its full and upright position. And so I was a little bit achy, especially in my wrists, you know. So clearly, I mean, I didn't have time to brace for anything. I didn't have time to brace the fall. I didn't have time to, to give myself, you know, that when you don't have any time to go, oh, this is going to be a problem. When you don't have time for that, it's just like you just, it happens. And so it's good that it happens that way because that way you can't, you, I think you do a whole lot more damage to yourself if you have time to brace for it. Anyway, so I got a little achy the next day, but Epsom Salts and I are we're good friends. And so I soaked in Epsom Salts and warm water and, you know, just took it easy and everything's good. And I'm like, well, by golly, I think I'm going to live. And then my sister... <laughs> The one that's usually here who's not here today because she had something else that was more important that she had to do. You know, she had a doctor's appointment or something. Um, she sent me a, 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 I think it was a text yesterday asking me how I was. And I said, oh, I'm fine. And she, my our maiden name is Smith. And she says... We Smith girls are tough old birds. <laughs> well spoken. Well spoken. Yep. Tough old birds. So there you go. Okay. So we're getting close to having this thing um, covered up here. I don't know what this is right in here, but we got to put something there because that's ugly. So we're just gonna we're just gonna stick something right there, and uh, some of these edges are cut, some of them are torn, some of them are the manufactured zigzag cuts, and you know I didn't pay too much attention. I tore off a few of the straight edges but not many. So we have a little bit more down here to do. So let's put some more down there. Sophia, hello. I know. Barb, Sydney is 11 years old this month. Oh, that is fantastic. That does not even seem possible, Jan. That doesn't even seem possible. If Jan wants to tell you who Sydney is, she can do that. And if she doesn't, that is just a-okay with me. Fine, fine, fine. We're definitely missing some polka dots in here. I mean, there's a few, but there's not nearly as many as there should be. Oh, let's see if we can find some more. Oh, here's some. Look, spots. Spots on spots. We need some spots. Not nearly enough spots on this. You gotta have some good I'm just tearing off the extra the extra paper. Alright, maybe we'll just put this. Oh, where should we put this? Let's just oh, I don't know. We'll just put a piece of it right here. Okay, so. So that was my adventure, and so that, my friends, is why I changed out my Mandala Madness inspiration card for this one, <laughs> which is grateful. Let's see what the quote is. The real gift of gratitude is that the more grateful you are, the more present you become. From That's from Calm Magazine. And that is a factoid that is, yes, that, that is true. The more grateful you are, the more present you become. The real gift of gratitude. Yep. Sometimes you gotta just, sometimes life, aka God, aka whatever you wanna, I'm not gonna tell you how to believe. I know what I believe. I'm not gonna tell you what to believe. Um, Sometimes you just get a little wake-up call that goes, I still got your back and your knees 
and your hips and your wrists. Yeah, I can't even imagine. You know, somebody was telling, I don't know who it was, somebody told me the other day that uh, somebody she knew had broken a leg on one side and an, and an ankle on the other side. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I was listening to Lena over in Denmark. Oh my goodness, that girl, that girl is hysterical sometimes. She is so funny. And she made one of the funniest statements I've ever heard. She was talking about um, sh her shoulder had, I think sh her shoulder had stiffened up because it had gotten cold, you know, had gotten, you know, she has, she deals with some physical stuff. And I've forgotten exactly. Anyway, her shoulder was all messed up from being in the cold and, you know, who knows what had happened. Anyway, she said, she said, and I quote, <coughs> the quote was something along the order of, I can't even wipe my own butt with my left hand. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, that's, that's some serious, that's some serious stuff right there. You know, when, when you're taking care of your own body, is is compromised that's serious right there but, oh my goodness i laughed she says some funny stuff and sometimes she has a better command of the english language which is not even her first language than i have um and i've spoken it my entire life <laughs> sometimes her vocabulary is better than mine is Whoops, I don't want it that way around. I want it this way around. Yeah, but I thought that's the quote of a day. That needs to go on a t-shirt. I hurt so bad I can't even wipe my own butt. <laughs> sorry for everyone that I just offended. But, you know, not that sorry. Just kind of sorry. Hopefully we don't get a copyright strike for... Barb being rude. Oh, goodness. You know, also part of what makes that funny is because <laughs> of all the things I got to do for Claus Man. Yeah, and those of you that know me very well know what that involved, but um, I digress. We won't go there, okay? Let's just move on and let's just finish up this paper because we need we need to paint with an eyedropper and this I think is maybe a vacant spot I think I got a couple of vacant spots here that we're gonna fill in <sighs> and so this is just in honor of of our friend Ruth because Ruth would want this big old patch of purple on here and so we're gonna put this on just for Ruth Yes, because purple is her favorite color, and APG Jamie also is a big fan of purple. Purple's a funny color. Some people love purple, and some people don't like purple at all. Isn't that interesting? I don't quite know. Of course, I don't like taupe. You know, I was going to say, I don't understand people having such an aversion to some colors, um, but I don't like taupe. No, I mean, I could, I could have walls in a shade of taupe. I could paint some of my walls a shade of taupe, like a light, really light taupe, but the paint with taupe, no thank you. No thank you. That is not my color. And people can tell me it's a neutral and it's necessary all day long. Doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make the cut in my world. Mm -mm. Nope, I do not like taupe. I also don't like tight and buff. I don't like... Um, what is that white color? A Liquitex color, something white. Don't like it? Mm -mm. Nope. I understand it's necessary sometimes, but ugh. Titan Buff is like the worst. And some people just love that. They'll pull their, their jelly prints with Titan Buff, and I'm like, nope, that's never going to happen in my world. Tight and buff is another story, but Titan buff, T-I-T-A-N buff, no, don't like it, but tight and buff, well, that's different, 
Now we're talking. Okay. Can you tell I'm in a mood? Can you tell? Falling down must have shaken something loose in my, must have knocked my filter off. Of course. Okay, we need another piece right in there. It is hard to read the chat and do this, so that's why I'm rattling. So aren't you glad I had a good story to tell you today? I mean, really. If I, if, if I didn't have a story to tell you, it would be so boring. You'd come here and you'd go... That woman needs to say something besides just sit there and slap pieces of paper on something and glue them down. Alright, what else do we need? Rip this little scrap off and let's put it right there. Just to kind of break that up a little bit. Just because. Alright. You see anything else that needs to be have a hole plugged? Maybe this one. Maybe this needs a little. Sometimes it's just to break things up a little bit, you know. I have a terrible time leaving white space, okay? Terrible time leaving white space. Sometimes people leave a lot of white space and they do real well with it. I don't do that very well. All right, so we should, all this stuff should stick on there quite well. I think that I've got it all stuck down, and so we're going to call it good, get rid of the water, get the illegal fluids off the desk. Um, I'm going to pretend it's all done and wipe out my little dish that had matte medium in it and throw that in the trash. Oh, did I tell, I think I told you, because I think this happened on Monday, although I can't remember for sure, but, you know, just in case... In case I didn't tell you why I was so mad at Chance. Um, Chance got up on my kitchen counter. The cat is still at six, almost 17 years old. He'll be 17 on the 5th of March. Okay. I looked it up. I found his birthday. He's going to be 17 years old. And the cat can still jump on the counter. He jumped up on the counter the other day, Monday. I think it was Monday. Was it Monday? I don't know. I think it was Monday. Maybe Tuesday. I don't know. Anyway, he jumped up on the counter and he knocked a packet of salad dressing off onto the carpet in my kitchen. Yes, my kitchen has carpet on the floor. It's been that way for a long, long time. It's probably not going to get changed as long as I live here. He knocked the packet, the open packet of salad dressing. It was one of those from a salad kit. He knocked it off on the floor. And, I, of course, I was not here when he did it. And it oozed salad dressing all over the carpet in a nice big spot like this. It's lovely. It's still there. Yeah. Rotten animal. I was ready to have his hide. I was, I really was ready to give him away that day. Um, and what he was after was not the salad dressing. What he was after was the tuna packet. <clears throat> that I had used the tuna out of. And I was going to take the packet outside, you know, the empty packet. I was going to take it outside and put it in the trash so it didn't stink. But I forgot. So technically, the whole thing was my fault. Uh, anyway, cat, cat will make you pay every time. He is truly the epitome of the song from Lady and the Tramp. We are Siamese, if you please. Da, 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 da. That is that cat in the spades all day long. Charlie was not nearly as ornery as Chance is. Well, you can see that we made a lot. We made some serious progress in the pile of painty papers. Not. Goodness. Anyway. <laughs> uh, let me get rid of these. Um, 
this can big container of water this can do some serious damage okay and I need one more thing and I'll be right back The other thing you need for this um, lovely technique is toilet paper and ink. I gotta find the ink. All right, let's get some ink here. And what color shall we use? Usually I just go for black because it's what I like the best. And this is oxide black. Amsterdam oxide black. So we will use that. And a dropper. I have a whole container of droppers. Um, of different kinds and different don't ask <laughs> Linda you tell Tim that I may take him up on that <sighs> yes We're gonna we're gonna dry this a little bit. Let's see what else was on my list to talk to you about. Let's see. Um, yeah, so that's uh, whatever I was gonna do for today, which I had several things in mind, many of which I had shown you that I was gonna do. Um, all got tabled in favor of doing hearts because of gratitude right because of gratitude feeling grateful i am grateful that i wasn't hurt do you know that after that entire thing i didn't get one bruise out of it i didn't even get a good bruise to to say oh, oh look at this of course anytime you show up you know somebody looks at a bruise they go they want to touch it until ask you if it hurts Anyway, so I didn't get a good bruise out of it. I didn't break a bone. Didn't hit my head. Only got a good strawberry on my knee, which my jeans cover up and nobody even gets to see it. Anyway, I'm very grateful. So I thought we would do some hearts today. And, um, and then it just happens to be getting close to Valentine's Day. So... If you're interested in creating your own Valentine's, you could do something. You could take the idea and run with it. If you have painty papers, or if you don't have any, make some. Uh, you can do it with scraped paint. You can do it with inks. You can do painty papers with all kinds of stuff. If you're going to layer them up like this, I recommend that you keep them transparent or translucent. Now it's going to be a while before this background, this um, surface is fully dried, but we're just trying to get the surface of it so it's, so that when the ink hits it, it doesn't go whoop. Okay. Welcome back. You like it? Oh, good. One of the things, hey, Lena, I was talking about you. <laughs> Did you hear me talking about you, Lena? <laughs> Lena, I was talking about you and your your cold shoulder and what you weren't able to do with your cold shoulder. <laughs> you probably don't even remember what you said. You're back too? Welcome back, Sherry. Where'd you guys all go? What day did I fall? Tuesday. 
<laughs> you listened to the fall. <laughs> it was a work of art, Lena. It was a work of art. Not so much the fall, but the trying to get up afterwards. That was the work of art. Man. <laughs> and I was talking to a friend of mine about it. Um, we were texting back and I think we were texting back and forth. Yeah, we were texting that night. <laughs> and I said, man, it was hard to get up. And she says, yeah, like you expect the sidewalk to be suddenly um, be in better shape than it was when you fell. <laughs> yeah, there is that. She's, she's one of my friends who just, you know, always tells the truth. You got to have friends like that in your life that tell you the truth, don't you? You really do. You really do. You know, I was just thinking that maybe we would... I don't know if I want to do this or not. Maybe. Yeah, I think we will. We'll try it. I was thinking this might need a little bit of metallic on it. Oh, I do have that that uh, stencil butter. But I really want to use, I think, gold. I don't know. Maybe we'll use some stencil butter and some gold. There we go. Okay. It's not totally dry, but it's dry-ish. Um, Emperor's Gold is my favorite gold acrylic paint. And I didn't find any of the stencil butter in the gold, which I would love to have, but I don't have at the moment. So... We're going to just use gold paint. Oh, you had to deal with a stressful phone call. I'm sorry. Here I am being a wiseacre and you're dealing with real life stuff. Okay. You know, invariably, I stick my foot right in my mouth. But, you know, you guys ought to be used to that by now. Sure wish I could find that stencil that I bought to show you, but I don't know what in the world I did. Maybe I put it in the book. Maybe it's in my book. Let's see. Nope. I don't know what in the world I did with that stencil I bought. It was a really cool stencil, too, but I don't know what I did with it. Probably left it... Probably bought it and left it out there. Well, why is it that everything wants to update when I don't have time to update it? Okay? Why is that? When you're busy is when the computer says, you've got to do this. Someone else needs to share this. Stress. Got it, Sherry. Big hugs. <sighs> Um, I've dealt with my share of stressful phone calls. I will tell you what. They are not fun. <laughs> I should never confess to you some of the things I say. Although Janet M. Young would be proud of me. I had one day with... Um, Oh, it's a it was a long time ago. I I don't know if I'll tell you that story or not. It's I would it was in one of my less than it was one of my less than stellar and very unflattering moments. <laughs> it truly was one of my very unflattering moments. I'll tell you how I really was though. Stress can do weird things to you, just saying. Okay? I'm just squirting a little bit of paint on my palette. My goal, <clears throat> this is just for, this is a reasonable goal. This is two ounces of stencil butter in each of these little pots. Okay, two ounces. That's all it is. And my goal is to use this stuff before it turns hard as a rock. Do you want to, do you want to take bets as to whether I... <clears throat> Whether I accomplish that, I have one of the things with <clears throat> with craft products and some fine art products, of course, 
that um, if you don't use them quick enough, they dry out. And, and also, the more you pay for it, the product, the more you're going to save it, which makes no sense because then you don't use it and it goes bad. Doesn't make sense. Okay, let's see if we can put some of this on there. And then maybe I'll tell you my less than stellar moments. So this is Emperor's Gold, which is Dazzling Metallics by Deco Art. I like this gold a lot. Uh, these are stencil butter products from the Crafters Workshop. Okay. Okay. So let's see how this works. And I've got a fan brush. The reason I chose the fan brush is because it kind of... I want it to kind of splay out a little bit. This is a really old stencil brush, I mean fan brush. And then we're going to see if we can just, we're going to see what happens if we just, in essence, dry brush some of this on here. And I would like to tell you that I've not done this before and I don't know how it's going to react. Um, but this is a way that you can kind of unify things a little bit. And sometimes you get a little heavy handed, but I'm trying to catch the edges or the wrinkles of the paper and I don't care if I get all the color everywhere on the paper okay now I don't know that you can see that but I'll give you a closer look here in a minute then I'm gonna go to the green so the, bl the blue green one was sea glass and this one is green green pear okay very shimmery it's not glitter but it's very shimmery all right let's see if i can put there and not dump it on the computer and so i'm gonna put some of this around and it will kind of act as a, a uh, well it isn't it doesn't act like it is another layer on the uh, page and also it will lend a little bit of shimmer okay so let's see if you can see you can probably see some of the light shining a little bit I'll give you another look here in a second and now I'm going to pick up some of this, which is completely different texture. This is a craft acrylic. So I'm going to be a little more judicious with this. How do you like that? $20 word. Judicious. And sometimes I do this with white on things. Again, it just kind of unifies things a little bit. What's doing it? It's doing an okay job doing what I'm having it do. Okay, I like that. And let me show it to you. We'll look at a different camera that might be able to show it to you a little bit where it will catch the edges you see how it's caught the edges of things and the wrinkles and things 
kind of makes it makes the papers kind of sink down a little bit okay good enough good enough moving on okay all right let me go throw this in water and then we're gonna paint hello Joni you're way late we'll just scroll back scroll back or you can just watch from the beginning later yep you can do that all right <laughs> don't pick up the phone voicemail gives you time to get calm well sometimes some of us don't have time to get calm <clears throat> so this is this is a claws man moment when I was taking care of him and it was after um, you know, it was into our process of stuff going on, and I don't remember exactly what it was. The details don't matter, but there was something that I was going to have to um, take him into the doctor for rather often. Don't remember what for. Um, probably because I've blocked it out. And um, I'm like, talking to race about it you know and I'm just like and I'm and I was you know I was so overwhelmed and so tired and so hungry and so everything so we were talking about it and that and the insurance situation would pay for home health for whatever the thing was okay so I didn't have to take him in they could come here to deal with it and so I called the, the gatekeeper crap. In, okay, you have to understand, some of you may be nurses and doctors or married to doctors. Um, I've had a very rough go with the medical system, and so I, I struggle, you know. No offense to anybody who does that for a living, um, but I have to tell you, I have to be honest, <laughs> the lens I look through is colored because I have struggled mightily with the medical system <clears throat> and the way that it is run at this point in time where you have to have a gatekeeper in order to get through to get to where you need to go drives me crazy okay anyway so um, had to go through the gatekeeper doctor but if you can get to the gatekeeper doctor, that's step one. And I couldn't get to the doctor because the doctor was busy. I understand that. I got it. Right? I get it. I get it. They're, doc they're busy. If you're in the service business, um, Claus Man was in the service business. If you're in the service business, it's a challenge. Okay? Got it. Duly noted. Um... But you have to go through the gatekeeper in order to get to try to get to where it is you need to be. So I'm trying to talk to her, end up having to talk to the nurse. And um, I said, explain the situation. And she said, yes. And she was very removed. She was not at all receptive. And she said, Yes, that um, home health was certainly a possibility, but she was none too happy with me for wanting to do that. So I was suppose it was taking money out of their pocket. I don't really know and didn't really care at that moment because I needed help. So um, I said, she said, what company do you want to go with? And I said, I didn't know there were different companies. And she said, yes, which company do you want to go with? I said, I don't know because I don't know the companies. So she rattles off the name of three or four different companies. And I said, um, okay, can you tell me something about them? And she said, no, which one do you want to go with? I said, okay, well, let me ask, I understand you're talking to a very tired, <laughs> you're talking to a very tired, overworked, overused woman. And I said, okay, let me ask this a different way. 
if this were your parent, who, which company would you choose to go with? I think that's a perfectly reasonable question. And she got real upset with me, very upset with me. And let me know that that was a terrible position to put her in. Blah, 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 blah. I had put her in a terrible position of by asking her such a question. And she could not give me an opinion like that. That was an unfair, and she took it very personally. Okay. Maybe you don't know this about me, <laughs> but you're about to learn. When Barb gets really overstressed and overtired, she doesn't have the ability to think anymore. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't have a filter. She can't think. She can't stop herself from saying things that roll into her head, they will guaranteed roll right out of her mouth. And it did. And I mean, when she said that, it was like lighting the fuse on a bomb. <laughs> and I told her, uh, that exactly what I thought of her and her boss and her system and what they where they could all go and what they could all do when they got there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I did. Yep. That was not nice. Okay, enough of that. Because I've, I've already confessed way more than you want to know. Okay, so that is what we've done. And then I took a paper towel. And I... <laughs> oh, gosh. I haven't been that mad in a long time. And, and I hung up on her <laughs> like I was going to help anything. <laughs> I literally hung up on her. I was so mad. And then I called my son, and I'm so mad. I'm crying. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. <laughs> and... And then he got mad because now somebody has treated his mother poorly. He said, I will talk to you in a minute. And I'm like, oh boy, now he's mad at me. But he wasn't. He was mad at them. And he called and he, I don't know who he talked to, but he read them the riot act for what they had done to his mother. <laughs> Whoo! I don't think my name, I don't think the name of Owen was very good in that office after that. That's right, Denise. That's right, Denise. And furthermore, <laughs> okay, let's move on, shall we? The funny part is I don't even remember what it was over. Don't care. Don't even care. All right. <clears throat> Do you guys remember back in 2020 when we did the whole, we did some Mandela things and 2020 was the year where there was a drastic shortage of toilet paper and I took one for the team and I um, sacrificed some of my toilet paper when I was entertaining you guys and keeping you company and we drew a Mandela with the same technique and I sacrificed some toilet paper. I had to think long and hard before I did that, by the way. And on top of that, I made sure the ink was permanent. <laughs> I let the toilet paper dry out, and we used it. Yes, we did. <laughs> I probably still have. I probably still have black ink on places that shouldn't have black ink. But anyway, okay. Toilet paper is necessary. I've tried it with Kleenex. I've tried it with paper towels. I've tried it with all kinds of other things. But toilet paper is the magic. I'm a riot today. Oh gosh, I'm just in a, it must have knocked something loose in me. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just being honest with you, telling you the truth. Thankfully, toilet paper's in greater supply now. You do want one that is not the El Cheapo stuff. You know, you want one that's actually got some absorbency. 
All toilet papers are not the same, just saying. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, Sophia. <laughs> Some days are just better than others, you know. All right. You got to have yourself a little stash of toilet paper. And you really need to have enough. So start with a, you know, a roll. Okay, start with a roll. All right, here we go. Down to the desk. So I have my toilet paper here. And I'm just going to use, you know, um, I'm going to probably use, I'll just rip it into, you know, a couple squares. Um, <laughs> I heard one time, I don't know who was talking about this guy. Where did I hear this? I don't know if I was talking to somebody in person or if it was some podcast I listened to. But somebody's, some woman's husband had issued a toilet paper this was bef this didn't have anything to do with the to toilet paper shortage this had this was some other thing and he resented buying the husband resented buying so much toilet paper for his family and so he had relegated everyone to only being able to use two squares of toilet paper <laughs> and i'm like what what I, I won't even go any further than that because it's so stupid. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that, Ruth. Hi, Leah. Oh, goodness. Okay, here we go. All right, I got to quit talking and do this thing because we're already past 3 o'clock when I normally quit. All right, you guys. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see the paper. Um, so I'm just going to use black ink. Hopefully this black ink, first of all, i got to be able to get the lid off of it. And hopefully this black ink is good. We will find out momentarily. It looks like it's okay. Now, black ink, some of the, some of the black inks come, uh, some inks in general. And this is an acrylic ink, okay? Some of them have this little, see that little knob thing on the end of the the um, dropper? Don't try to paint with that. That does not work. I've tried it. It doesn't work. Just put it off to the side. I'm telling you, just don't use it. You either need this one that's, you know, like a glass dropper. I, I buy Stevia, liquid Stevia, and they all have these glass droppers in them so I can't help myself I have to save those and these are pipettes that come in different lengths and different um, you know the tips are usually a little different size and you just have to try different things and see what works okay all right suck up some ink and sometimes it takes a minute to get used to how to do this because I haven't done it for a while so we may screw it up and have to paint over this and start again but it's okay all right you don't generally have to squirt very hard all right and once you have squirted out the ink then take a piece of toilet paper in this case I think one's gonna do it put it down and let it absorb the ink okay the first time I ever learned to do any of this or saw it done was with Carla Sondheim in a class I did with her and I'm like that is cool how that works okay and so that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just absorb the excess ink okay and then I put this square of toilet paper over here and leave it alone. Because if you come back, see how it gets on your fingers. If you come back with that piece of toilet paper to absorb more, you're just going to transfer the ink onto your surface. Don't do that. Stop yourself from doing that. Stop it right now. Okay? Stop it right now. Um, just use a new piece. 
so at this point you can either add you know use this and do whatever it is you want to do with it you can uh, make multiple hearts you can make individual hearts you can make overlap you know are you going for an overall design or are you going to just cut these out um, you know as individual hearts and use them on cards or whatever I don't know so <clears throat> that's that's what this is going to be so I don't know we're just going to draw some more Okay, and then maybe we'll do another one here. But doing it with, and every once in a while you get a real ugly, heavy line, and that's just part of the process. Again, toilet paper, let it just absorb all the extra ink okay pull it up and go as long as the toilet paper has not been used you can use it and you can either touch it you're gonna get some ink on your fingers or if you don't want to touch it with your finger um, I don't know how you're gonna make it work because you pretty much want to get the excess ink uh, that is part of what makes this work and then you're going to get some splatters here and there but that's again part of the thing part of the charm uh, I'll show you some if you remind me here in a minute I'll show you if I can dig them out I always lose them in my journals I have a couple of faces that I've done with this technique And I've done birthday cards this way. I did a birthday card for um, the old guy I used to work for, Warren. You guys remember Warren and the stories I used to tell about Warren? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> he was... He was a good guy. He was part of my life when I desperately needed somebody to think I was worth something. Now, when you <clears throat> when you put the pa toilet paper down, put it down and try not to drag it around, okay? It is so highly absorbent because it's toilet paper, people. That's why it works, okay? And try to keep your little pile of used. <laughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, sometimes I make myself laugh. Keep your little pile of used toilet paper um, out of your way. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that made me, that, I made my own self laugh. <clears throat> Don't try to be too frugal with the pieces of toilet paper here. Because you can see, I'm transferring ink, but I can't stop myself. <clears throat> so just have your little self a stack of used toilet paper going on. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Devin. Janet, what Devin said. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attempt not to overlap the hearts. <clears throat> we'll try some with the pipette here in a second. Devin has got the right idea.
But I've tried this with other, like I said, I've tried it with other absorbent things and nothing, <laughs> nothing works the way the toilet paper does. And I remember when I took that class with Carla, when we were doing this, that is exactly what she said, that nothing worked like toilet paper. And I'm like, oh, that's silly. Of course, something else will work as well as toilet paper. Oh, that's, you know, that was a silly thing to say. Nope, she was right. I mean, you would have thought that there was a reason that she was teaching the class. All right, let's try it with this pipette. Let's see if it if it's any different. Because sometimes the, um, the applicator makes a difference. And there is a fine line between pressure on the squirty thing <laughs> and not putting pressure. Okay, let's try another. We'll do a couple more, then we'll absorb the ink. All right. And this is where you can you can be creative, okay? Now, maybe you want this to just be an overall patterned paper. Or maybe what you're wanting to do is make hearts to cut out to put on cards. Um, but I recommend that you have some way to get the ink off your hands when you're done. So Amidex is a good thing. Or another thing that you can use is the Ranger Scrubby if you have one of those. Now if you get, see, like that, if you really want to keep your sheet of paper relatively clean, then set that aside. And if the, once that stack of toilet paper gets good and dry, you can recycle it. <laughs> you can either use it in the bathroom like I did, or you can um, use it for this technique. Um, one, but it's got to be totally dry, okay? Yes, yes. <laughs> The applicator counts as well. <laughs> Jan is retracting her own messages, or is uh, one of my mods retracting Jan's messages? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do a big one, a big heart. Or bigger. Okay. All right. So I'm going to use up this little stack of toilet paper that I have torn up here. And then when I'm done with that, we're going to stop. <laughs> and I'll show you the faces that I've done this way. But, you know, these could probably be used, probably could... Um, Devin, I'm sure, if she can do art with baby wipes, I'm sure she can do art with these. All of us could probably do art with those. <laughs> right, Devin? On her next stream, Devin will be showing how to recycle toilet paper. Or Janet M. Young will be doing it on her channel on Monday and Devin will be coaching her because it seems only appropriate because Janet refers to Devin and I think she calls her bossy butt <laughs> oh I am just amusing myself all over the place today and probably I've offended a number of my viewers that go well, we thought she was a little more 
holy than this. Nope. She's not. You know what? Life is too short to get yourself wound up worrying about how holy you need to be. Studley Duck taught me that. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, I'm living dangerously here because we have these. Whoop. Like I said, I dropped the. I dropped down the toilet paper a little sooner than I intended to. Let's see if I can turn it around and control where the ink is. Okay. But this has, I think it has the coolest look when it dries. Um, when the ink dries. And it's an effect that I don't know how else you can get it. There is a certain serendipity thing that happens with this that I absolutely love. Okay. All right. So you kind of got the idea, right? Right. Devin will have to thaw them out first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Janet does butts on things. Oh, Janet, you're going to have so much fun with this. Yes, yes, you are. Okay, so we're going to set this to the side. Um, let me see if I can find my journals with... can't ever remember where these are <clears throat> because the journals that they're in all look alike. You'd think somebody would put a reasonable cover, different covers on them. Uh, let's see. Might be in this one. Oh, here's one. Okay. All right, I know some of you have been hanging around with me for a long time, have seen these. Um, let's see. This exercise, let me put the lid on this ink so I don't like dump it on my work surface. That would be real, that would be real upsetting. Okay, so here is, this is done exactly the same way. Okay, but this exercise was in taking um, a face, in this case it was this guy, and not drawing it with a pencil, not doing anything, but taking this image, which is an old headshot from somebody that, um, I don't remember who it was, and simply making your eye take that image and draw the important lines that would indicate what makes this man recognizable and do it over here. And it was done exactly the same way. 100% done with the ink dropper. Okay? Bye, Barbara. Thank you. <laughs> Ruth, I'm, I'm, I'm real... I'm real sorry about your trip that you're about to take. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> so the background is done the same way. It is done with, um, there was probably leftover paint on here. This was done in 2014, 10 years ago. Holy cow. Wow. Um, wow. Anyway. <clears throat> that was just a real surprise. There was probably leftover paint on this page, scraped paint or leftover paint or whatever. And then on top of it, I did the same collage technique with the translucent painty papers and then did that. Okay, so there's that one. I have another one. We'll see if we can find it. Um... 
Like I said, I always lose them. When I'm teaching a class and I need them, I will have them marked. But when I'm not doing a class, they just kind of disappear on me. Maybe she's in this one. It's a female. So bear with me. That's me. That's me when I was nominated for a, a queen. I was a queen candidate when I was a, what was I, a junior in high school? <laughs> That's what I looked like when I was young and innocent. I oh, know, isn't she sweet? Poor thing. Little did she know what she was going to get to do in her life when she grew up. All right, where is that woman? It's got to be in one of these journals. Let me look again. Oh, here she is. And see, that's why I can't find it because she's under here. Okay, so here's this one. Okay, it's the same thing. Let me see if I can find the image that, oh, here she is. This is the image that she came from. Done exactly the same way. So it's just only she's done in blue ink. <laughs> Janet was never nominated. She just took the titles. Well, you know, I was nominated. I didn't win. And so I was heartbroken. This was June of 2014. Oh, almost 10 years ago. And you can see with this one, I left out her arm and that kind of stuff. This one wasn't quite as successful as the other one. But, you know, if you don't see it, side by side with this you get the the gist um, and then I also did the same thing um, let me see if you have one if you want to hang around just another minute I've got a journal another journal I have a, uh, an entire cabinet of journals. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this one. I forgot about this image. Um, and this one is done the same way. Uh, this is exactly the same thing, but instead of an image, I drew words and painted flowers and did a border and stuff and then these little fine lines those are done with paint pens or whatever so that was that um and i have another one here it is wow this was this is just a color copy of what i did and so this was a birthday card that i did for warren but i did the background the same way and then I drew the cake, the candles, the stars, the cake plate. That was all done with the dropper. Okay? And then, just so you know, Mama and her boys, m my goofy faces make it into every journal. Yes, they do. Um, my family of goofballs makes it into every journal. So there they are. Okay, so you can take that idea, and it certainly does not have to be um, drawing hearts. I think I have one more example. Hold on a second. I think I have one more example in this journal. I don't know. 
I don't know how my brain works to remind me of where things are. Okay, here it is. <laughs> I even found it. Amazing. <clears throat> okay, so here's this one. This is done with the ink dropper. And so is this. And then I put some rub-ons on top of it and some the white pen was on top of it. So there was that. That was done in 18. Um, I don't know that there's anything else in here. Let's see real quick. I think that was all I did with that technique. Um, this was, this was also done with that. So this was a magazine image, and then I went over it with the ink dropper, you know, splats and stuff, and then once that was completely dry, then I went back and I put some white dots and stuff in the black, irregular whatever's. These are all pages that are on the website. Anyway, so there's that. Okay, I think that's all the examples I have to show you. But you can see that there's lots of different things that you can do with it. So, there you go. Maybe that will give you some ideas. Okay? Okay. Any questions? I don't know where the lady went now. She must be... She must have stuck to something. I don't think I put her back in here, did I? Oh well, I'll find her. I have to find her because if I don't find her, I can't use her for an example next time. All right, that's it. Any questions? Oh, you're welcome. At least I'm. At least I was able to give you some inspiration today. The last, the last few months, there hadn't been much inspiration coming from me. I couldn't inspire myself, let alone anybody else. But maybe today will get us all going again, huh? <sighs> Have a good day, week, weekend, evening, whatever. I'm going to go try and get the ink off my fingers. I hope I don't have um, any plans for tonight in case I can't get it off my hands. <laughs> I'm going to try and stay on my feet or I'm going to um, get... Um, I'm going to get with Tim's physical therapist who can teach me how to stay upright because uh, he has said that he can recommend a good physical therapist for balance and staying upright, and I may have to take him up on that, which I appreciate. You guys have a good, good time wherever you are. Life is too short not to take, you know, a lot of laughing breaks. And don't let the clowns of this world drag you down. We got to have fun. We got to spread the joy, folks. We got to be kind to each other and spread the joy. And at all cost, no drama. Give me a thumbs up if you would before you go. Subscribe if you haven't. Come back. I'll be here Monday night, 7 Eastern. I'm back on Friday at 2 Eastern. Unless something happens, and I never know when something's going to happen. I'll let you know as much as I can. Be kind to each other. I will see you when I see you. Remember to get creative today because you know it's it is easy. You just saw I painted with a I painted with a dropper. I painted with a dropper and some ink. How easy is that? Okay. See you guys later. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.